Tea has been an integral part of Chinese culture and history for thousands of years. So it is no surprise there are few Chinese tea shops in my Chinatown. But there is only one Uncle Ji. Uncle G is the owner and tea master here. The man is in his 90s and probably knows everything there is to know about Chinese tea. What he doesn't know, he make it up with his personality. I call this, this the Uncle G show. Okay. Now, when you drink Chinese tea, you have to learn the first word. I want you to repeat it. First word, frugal. What's the first word? Frugal. Because why? When we measure our tea, we measure our tea by three finger pinch, one teaspoon. Five finger pinch, one tablespoon. It doesn't give you one cup of tea. It gives you four cup, five cup, six cup, eight cup of tea. Same tea leaf, but not in those kind of cups. This side. The tea we're going to drink right now is called Blue People Ginseng Oolong. This is the tea I drink. I never drink coffee. I hope you don't drink too much coffee. Get coffee. When you get to half my age, I don't want you to look like a damn prune. It dehydrates your skin, makes you old and wrinkled. Okay? So, all my life, I never drink coffee. I drink a special tea. And this tea is wonderful. It's called Blue People Ginseng Oolong. Ginseng Oolong, what it does to you is it stimulates your blood, put oxygen, fast recover, make you focus. And especially for you younger people, when you are working, when you have mentally and physically fatigued. This is a tea to drink. First thing you have to learn, you always have to rinse your tea leaf. Why you rinse your tea leaf? The four factors. First factor is my children here, my tea, is in the dormant stage. Anytime hot water touch it, you wake them up. Anytime hot water touch it, you take out all the impurity of the tea because you never know where the tea came from. Anytime hot water touch it, you take out 60 to 70% of the caffeine. You don't need to have caffeine in your body. Last, it take out the tender acid, the bitterness of the tea. First thing, water. Very important, never, ever, ever put boiling water in your tea. If you put boiling water directly into your tea, you will shock your tea leaf. You can actually hear your tea screaming for murder. Little bubble coming up, the water's too damn hot. So what is the temperature, the best temperature at home when you boil your water and your kettle sing to you? How do your kettle sing to you? You shut the fire and you let, let it sit for a minute and a half to two minutes. How many minutes? Right at that moment, the temperature will drop down to 175, 180 Fahrenheit. If you're from a foreign country, 80 to 85 Celsius. Brewing time, very important. Never let the tea simmer for one minute, two minutes, okay? It's only 20 seconds. That's it, very fast. If you let the tea simmer for one minute, two minutes, the tea will be, will be so bitter that you can't drink it and you start to add sugar. If you young people put sugar in my tea, I will hunt you down. <laughs> At night, I will, slap you. I will slap you across your head. Now, now, when you drink this tea now, it's an aftertaste, it's very important, okay? Now, when you drink this tea, right under here, come right back out, that's a sweetness. Sir. This is the, from the ginseng, okay? Oh, you know the tap a finger thing, sir. Yeah. yeah. Tap the finger means thank you. Right. Yeah, without saying it. Now I'll make some more. Always smell, look at the color, smell it just like you drink fine liqueur. You see how fast we make the tea? Yeah. Martin, have the cup of tea. Yeah, definitely. Extra cup right here. Yeah. Oh, right here. This is extra cup. I'll get another cup for you. Okay. All right, come try here. that. Okay, okay try tea. that. I want you to try that now, okay? Smell it like aroma. Cheap tea leaf never have such great aroma besides the health benefit. 
You like that taste? You can taste that aftertaste? Yeah. It's very nice. This is tea you could drink it hot, you could drink it cold. Yeah. It's a stimulation, good for energy, makes you focus. Great for hangover, great for migraine headache, okay? Drink that, okay, we try something else, now. Today we are very fortunate to have Uncle G take the time to come and educate us and uh, also tell us, you know, normally he will tell us a lot of jokes and crack, <laughs> crack us up, but the thing is, this is serious. education. So let us drink to Uncle G. No, for drink family, this is it. Family, family. Come in, Uncle come G in. and family. Right. For good health, good health and long life, okay? Here we have, we toast to Uncle G. Let's go. Uncle G. Give it half and more happen. Always remember, family first. Respect, education. I can do it. Performance. You Let's remember, go. Yan can cook. Yeah, Uncle right. G can drink tea. See, right. Have a nice one. Okay. Hey. Good. Thank you, Uncle G. Thank you. You're, you're always, you're always welcome to my house. You come here anytime. <laughs>